Hello, I'm a Gex, so I'm walking back to Minecraft video. Today I'm here in my survival world, in my destroyed chunks, which I know is a bit of a weird survival project, but we're here today because I wanted to talk about a brand new Minecraft mechanic, which was added just recently for all Minecraft editions, because it is swimming. Swimming is something that seems like it's a fairly basic concept. You get inside some water, and then you can swim through it. Look how wonderful it looks. However, there's actually some really weird around the edge uses for how this can work, and I figured given that most of these aren't intuitive, I would go through some of the weirdest ways that you can abuse swimming in Minecraft. So hopefully you do all enjoy this video, you can like it if you do like it, because it helps out the channel, and let's know you do like abusing things, as in abusing the good things, because it's okay to abuse Minecraft mechanics, not okay to abuse, uh, I guess, people or animals. Keep that in mind as we go into the very first way you can abuse, uh, you know, Minecraft water, and abuse the swimming that you can do within it, because this is something you'll see a lot in your Minecraft worlds. There'll be a cliff of some form, and then there'll be water pouring out of it, uh, down some distance. This is obviously an exaggeration where we're going down like 60 blocks, but you can find stuff like this that's 40 blocks high, where it's just a single bit of water going next to a wall. And the traditional way you would climb this prior to the 1.13 or 1.5 or whatever update you want to call it, the aquatic update, is you'd swim out the side of it like this. And this is, you know, really handy. You can go up quite fast. Look, we're going to get there in about, you know, 15 seconds or something. That's really nice. However, in the aquatic update, you can actually swim inside the water. And this sounds really nice by itself because look, you can swim up inside the water. However, the downside of this is you're barely going much faster. And like, why would you even want to do that? Because you don't get as good vision and you don't get air like you do the other way. But what if I said you could combine the best of both worlds and you can swim upwards while also uh, climbing up it like you could previously. That's right, if you swim up it like this and then you also press A, you can see my speed gets immediately, oh, <laughs> if you don't fall out there, you can see my speed gets immediately faster. Look at the uh, Y axis on the position up there. You can see just how much faster I'm going up. And yeah, long story short, if you swim up water, it's a lot faster than just swimming and just, uh, you know, like pressing up because you can swim and jump in water at the same time, which means you can swim up a waterfall. I don't think that's how it works in real life, but you can totally do it in Minecraft. Uh, if you're curious about why I don't know why it works in real life, bonus fun fact, I can't actually swim in real life. I was never taught and therefore I don't know if the second thing is possible as well because it seems a bit weird, but you know what? Let's go with it. Let's pretend it does work. The second way you can abuse water is kind of the reverse, but it's a bit more complex because you can swim downwards in a waterfall. So obviously this should be fairly obvious that like, okay, same idea, go next to the wall, swim downwards and you can get down uh, pretty darn fast. You can hold down your right stick if you want or hold down your crouch button and you, sh you know, it feels like you're going faster. You're not actually, but it's a thing you can do. However, the really weird thing about this is you can kind of combine, uh, you know, this with the weird uh, way that fences and flowing water combine. Because if you, uh, you know, you can combine any water block with any, you know, like half block and you can fill up, say, a fence with some water. If I want to, I can have this be surrounded by water or I can not. Again, it's a weird thing. So look, here's me in an air bubble. Here's me not in an air bubble. And yeah, you can use this air bubble effect where flowing water won't interact with stuff like fences to basically swim and have oxygen at the same time. That's right. You can swim downwards into the fence if you want to, which means I look like this. Again, it's entirely absurd. This isn't how swimming works in real life. I'm, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, and yeah, you can actually use this uh, to your advantage to effectively swim downwards while still being able to see because one of the big downsides of swimming downwards which is somewhat, somewhat true for going upwards too, is the fact that you can't see what you're swimming into. You can see, as I swim up here, I can't see anything besides also water, but if you uh, swim upwards or downwards into this, not only does it seem like it's going fast, I think it actually is as well, uh, but also you can see what's going on in the areas around it. Look, you can see all the way down there, despite the fact that we're swimming in the same water, my head is technically out of the water, which means this works. And it's a really cool way to abuse water, in my opinion. So let's move into the third weird and rather cool way of abusing water, because I mean, uh, oh, by the way, actually, actually one more thing I should mention, just as a fun little side note here, because if, you, if you're if you doing stuff like this and you have like a permanent fixture for it, uh, it's worth noting that you can grab yourself some salt sand because salt sand in water obviously creates the bubble effect. That bubble effect only works in flowing water. So we grab some salt sand and we put it over here. That effect only works in regular water, not flowing water, but the bubbles will then expand into the flowing water. So again, these bubbles give you no advantage, but they do signify, look, go up this waterfall. So if you want to signify to people, look, okay, the waterfall is the way up, it's the way, it's the way you want to be going, then what you want to do is you want to have some salt sand at the bottom of your waterfall and again look it doesn't give you any real speed boost even though we're in bubbles right now you can see they're right here i can swim right into them there's no extra downside but it, it feels like you're going faster and feelings are what it's all about if the world tells me anything at least so with that said let's move into the third way you can abuse water uh, finally because uh the interesting thing about this is it's a java and console edition uh, method of mining diamonds that's really great. However, it works in Minecraft Bedrock in an entirely different abuse way because it's super inconsistent on Bedrock. So again, if you're on a Bedrock or Java, a fun fact you might not be familiar with is the fact that you can dive mine. So this is where you dig down, uh, you get yourself in some water, you can swim through that water and you can mine again in, in a one block wide uh, deep hole. However, if we try the same thing uh, you've just seen 
on the bedrock addition, just like this. So we swim into a one deep hole by using, we're gonna use a dirt just as an example, because it's nice and fast. We swim into a one deep hole, just like this, and we try to mine all of the blocks, which we're gonna do, and it should, oh, that's a bad example, because there's a big hole right here. But as long as there's uh, still a one deep wide hole, which we're gonna ensure there is, even as we go into this weird place, uh, eventually what's gonna happen is you're gonna reach a point where there's no more water. If you're not swimming in water, you can't exist in a one by one shape, which means I will pop up into that dirt right here, which is interesting, because now I'm surrounded by dirt. So this is weird because sometimes your body will break the dirt on accident, uh, you know, just you know, by default, you'll break right through it, and sometimes you'll get trapped inside the dirt. However, there's two interesting things about this. The first being the fact that this is one of the few ways to be inside of a block without uh, taking any choking damage. Usually, if this happens in Minecraft, you're gonna be like, oh, 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 and you know, you're feeling bad, you're dying. Uh, but in this case, that's not what's happening, so that's interesting. Also, if you go into third person, as you can see, you can see outside of the block, which you shouldn't be able to, and it means you can kind of x ray through the world. So, again, I'm gonna show you that a little bit better. Uh, third person allows me to see through the world as long as I'm connected. For blocks and in some situations you can see a lot more than just a tiny bit of x-ray so that's right we have a working x-ray glitch this is going to be patched out i have no doubt but the fact that right now it still allows you so if we try this again if we swim into the water and we take this somewhere else because uh, this is a weird example that went into another cave. If you do this just right, you can get an amazing x-ray glitch out of it, which I, I personally think is a good thing, right? I, I think good x-ray glitches are yeah, good for the world. So uh, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here a little bit, we're gonna make a hole in the wall, and we're gonna have our water flow into that hole. So <laughs> apparently we're not gonna have the water flow into that hole until we place blocks here and there. Again, you wanna always have uh, like a closed uh, system like this. Then you wanna uh, swim yourself into the hole just like this. And yeah, if we do the exact same thing, but we know there's nothing around me, then very good things will happen. And the reason, uh, <laughs> unless you flow into a ravine, but the reason good things will happen is because if you have less surrounding blocks, you can jump over it and you can do cool stuff, assuming you don't fly into a ravine. So I'm actually gonna try it one more time just because, you know, I, I really believe in this method. We're gonna dig into a random hole randomly in the world just to really dig this one home. And we're gonna do it right here, have a, a bit of water. And then we're gonna flow into the wall just over here and slowly dig ourselves up. And assuming we don't come into a cave again, because if we do, then you know, let's just assume that the universe hates me. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna appear randomly into a block and now we can mine this block up here, by the way. And as you can see, now I've got myself a one by one hole. Uh, it's not really a useful one by one hole where I exist and nothing else does. Also, if we keep the block there, then we can kind of do that. So yeah, I exist in a block which isn't mined at all and it's just a weird place to be. Minecraft, fun facts. Uh, <laughs> you, you might not know that, but it's a weird thing you can do. So with that said, let's move into the next uh, you know, weird thing that you can do to abuse swimming in Minecraft because abusing it to get x-ray glitches and or jumping on top of blocks to be in your own little personal space and or using it to get the most efficient diamond method uh, mining method we've ever seen in Minecraft uh, might not be the next one because I know a lot of people in Minecraft they love houses one, one of the number one things I see in every survival let's play is toy cat make a house and it's like but we're trying to defeat the ender dragon real fast and they're like toy cat make a house because I mean that's like that's some that's some people's only thing uh, that they do in Minecraft so if you like making houses and you don't like all these other things Thank you for watching uh, all this time into a video. But second of all, uh, let me talk about a really cool secret entrance you can abuse swimming for. Because obviously, uh, this is my house right here. It's a, I mean, as you can see, I, I don't care about the walls for a house. A lot of people don't like that. But if you want to have a secret entrance to your house or a secret entrance from somewhere to somewhere else, you can now use, uh, so again, right here is my example, uh, like a, hidden places inside walls that are one deep as a secret entrance in. So as you can see, I've got two examples here. The first one is one which is using an iron trap door. How many times do you ever see Iron Trap door used in Minecraft. It's like one of the rarest items, I swear. <laughs> The, the sad thing about iron trap doors is even though they actually have a use, I think they're actually more rare than gravel. That, that is saying something, right? Like, people use gravel, ugliest block in the game, more than they use uh, iron trap doors, which, I mean, is a really depressing indictment of uh, the iron trap doors usefulness. But yeah, basically, iron trap doors, we can use one in this specific circumstance, uh, maybe with a hidden lever or a way of doing that, and you can make a secret way into your base. Look at this right here. Gonna go right through it, and I'm gonna end up inside of a Minecraft base. Or in this case, because we don't have one, end up in just another place in Minecraft. You can make secret tunnels across the map this way, and as long as you hide both the entrance, and if you're gonna use an iron trap door, the lever, or if you just wanna have an entrance by itself, because honestly, the iron trap door does kind of draw attention to it, right? In this particular case, you could do it inside the wall, but still, you can see the problems of that. So maybe what you wanna do instead is you wanna either put it inside. I don't think we're gonna be able to do that in time. Uh, but yeah, you can put this inside to make it a little bit less obvious, because obviously, then you won't be able to see it unless you're on the inside, which yeah, maybe you prefer better. Uh, but you can also just do this without 
without having any uh, thing at all. So as you can see, just have a one by one. Oh, I can't get in there apparently. Uh, <laughs> but you just have a one by one hole through the wall, and that's also a entirely valid way of making this work. Why can't I fit in? Let's let's try this again. <laughs> okay, as you can see, uh, usually it works, except right now uh, for some weird case. So yeah, with that said, let's move to the final way of using water, and this is going to involve going to the end because it's it's the end of the video. So like, it's a it's a clever way of. Uh, you know, like, at, at the end of the video, we're going to the end. Do you get it? That's that's high-quality pun, pun, punnage, I guess, uh, video creation that you're seeing from your boy IBX Toy Cat right here. But no, we're going to the end, uh, which does take a little bit of time in, in a survival world. Uh, but we're going here because I have defeated the Ender Dragon at least once. Have you defeated the Ender Dragon at least once? Statistically speaking, I mean, most people haven't. But let's assume you have because you care about survival Minecraft. You're here watching this video, this channel, and uh, therefore you want to know, how do I get into my end uh, portals or my end... Uh, oh, we should not have stared at him. He's going to be very upset with me. But uh, you want to know how to get into your end portal frames a little bit. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> what I even called the uh, the end gateways a little bit easier. I get the end portal and the end gateways confused. But yeah, these things are just annoying to get into. If you've ever tried doing it, you know it sucks. And as you can imagine, today's video is about swimming abuse. So how are we going to abuse swimming to make that problem go away? This is how we're going to do so. Because if you use some water around it. So let me just uh, quickly. Uh, okay, as you can see, Elytra's still handy to have just in case you fall off. Uh, this uh, tip was actually uh, you know something I saw from a good friend, the bait man. I have two people that I, uh, two friends I call the bait man. Let's, let's just say it was one of the two people. Why do I have two friends with the same name? That's 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 not a, a question we're gonna answer today. But let's just quickly say, as you can see, we've got a one by one water ring around our end portal frame. And then we've got some slabs to stop it flowing out. If you don't, if you care, if you don't care about this, honestly, you could break one of these, have it flow out onto the ground. It's ugly, but I mean, who cares about ugly? We just care about functional. So yeah, you can use this as a way of swimming underneath the bedrock, which means you can swim into the portal. Because as we all know, if you've ever tried this, getting into the end portal frames, it's awful. You can end a puddle in, and I think that's, oh Jesus, that's a puddle, sorry. But you can end a portal yourself in, but as, as we all know, end a pulling, like if you miss, it takes a lot of damage. Dying is, is fairly frequent. Or you can try flying into these things, and uh, let, let me try this right here. It's just awful as well. Trying to get into a one by one gap is awful, except wait a minute, swimming, that takes you into a one by one gap. So all you need is something as simple as this. The other one was a bit bit fancier, but you just need to have a bit of flowing water that's in a, you know, a bit of water like this. If you want, you can put one up there. Uh, have a single bit of flowing water, have another bit of water, which goes between, you know, the bedrock uh, pieces and then into the portal you can swim. It's really, really easy. It's really, really simple. If you want, you could even use my previous technique, the, the waterfall thing. So we break this and then we break the block next to it. We can swim up into this if we want to, which I mean, uh, you know, combine two ways of abusing water at once, swim up into this and get up there. So let's let's do, okay, it's actually a little bit harder because we don't have things to swim up against. But as you can see, swim up into this and because we have the much wider block, it's easier for me to get in here which we now, okay, we've reached the exact same point, but we just can't do it for some reason. But yeah, you can, uh, like, when you, when you have a, a one by one gap that you're ne not next to, it's harder to get into, but you can in fact do it. Also, the noise with jumping into portals is definitely too loud, so apologies for subjecting you to that twice. But as you can see, it's a guaranteed way. There's no risk, unlike ender polling. There's no uh, elytra waste, unlike elytra where again, you've only got so much elytra uh, juice, why use it on that? And I just think, personally, that is an amazing use of the, uh, you know, swimming in Minecraft. But yeah, those are five ways to abuse swimming in Minecraft. I hope you did all enjoy this video going over them. If you did, you can like this video and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot. Let's know you do like the Minecraft survival fun fact videos. Also, uh, fun fact at the end here, uh, Minecraft water looks different in every biome. And one of my favorite examples is the end water. I think never water has its own charms and mushroom water has its own charms, but end water has this purple sheen to it, which makes it look like you're in a, you know, like a never portal or something. Uh, I, I really like it personally. So if you abuse this again and you see through it, Look how great it looks on this angle as opposed to, you know, this. This, this versus this, it looks wonderful in my opinion. So yeah, if you've never played around with water in the end, maybe you should do it. And uh, yeah, I would 100% would recommend. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time. I just wanted to prove I could save myself. Yeah, uh, yeah I guess I'll see you all in another video. Oh, please do turn on notifications uh, as always. It's the best way to see more of these videos daily on your homepage. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.